and welcome to Master the Piano's course on Mastering Arpeggios. Today in our fourth lesson we'll be looking at the arpeggios for the key of F. So why don't we start with our right hand like we always do and start playing the F major tonic chord. Begin with your thumb on the F, 3 on the A, 5 on the C and go back down. Those are the chords, the keys that you will need. Let's see if we can now extend that for the full octave. Put your thumb on the F, 2 on the A, 3 on the C, 5 on the F, and back down. Do that again for one octave. Now we're going to extend this for two octaves. One, two, three. Take your thumb and put it under onto the F. A, C, F, three, two, one. Take your three and fly over to the C. Let's do that again. Thumb under. And go back down. Three over. Good. Let's check out the left hand. First of all, that's your chord. So break it up. Make sure you're confident with the keys. F, A, C. Now let's extend it for one octave. Five, F, three, A, two, C. Thumb and back down. Let's do that again. Let's make it bigger. Let's make it two octaves. Five, three, two, one. Cross your three over. Two, three. Thumb on the F. One, two, three, five. Let's do that again. Five, three, two, one. Cross your three over. Two, three. Thumb under. One, two, three, five. And there we have it. That's the F major root arpeggio. So now we're going to go back to the right hand and see if we can make the first inversion. So from your root, take off your F and now put the F on top. You'll notice we have A, C and F using a thumb, a 2 and a 5. Play these letters, make sure they make sense to you. Now we're going to extend it, so 1, 2, 4, 5 on the A and back in. Try that again. two octaves. So one, two, four. Take your thumb, spin it onto the A. Two, four, five and back in. Four, two, one. One on A, two on C, four. Thumb on the A again. Two, four and five and go back down. Four, two, one. That's good. Let's check out the left hand. So we did the root. Now it's time to do the first inversion. Take off the F, put it down. You can use your third finger here if you so desire or even your fourth, depending on what feels comfortable for you. So let's play these letters A, C, F, A and back down. I'm playing 5, 4, 2, 1 and back down. Try one more time. bigger now. Let's go for two octaves. Five, four, two, one. Cross your four onto the C. Two, one, and back down. Thumb on the A, under. Two, four, five. Let's do that again. Five and a four, a two and a one. Cross your four over. Thumb under. Not bad. Let's see if you can speed it up just for a challenge. Five, four, two, down. Thumb under. Okay, let's go back to the right hand now. We're going to take a look at F major in its second inversion. So, root, first, second. You want the keys C, F, A. So, one, three, five, five, three, one. So, I'm not flying off the keyboard. I'm going to start one octave lower. One, two now on the F, three on the A, Five on the C and back down. Try that again. Extend this now for two octaves. One, two, three, thumb under. Three over. And again. One, two, three, under on the C. F, A, C and back in. Good, that's two octaves done. Check out your left hand. So, F major, root, first, second inversion. 
You want C, F, A. Let's start one octave lower. So C, three on the F, A, C, and back down. Let's do that again. Make it bigger, make it two octaves. Five, three, two, one. Take your three and cross it to the F. A, C, A, F. Take your thumb and spin. to play the F major arpeggio, now we're going to play F minor, so take your third finger and lower it down to the A flat. Let's do the right hand first, so you'll notice the keys are largely the same. Put your thumb on the F, two on the A flat, three on the C and back down. Get used to those keys. Let's extend it now for one octave. One, two, three, five on the F. And again. Let's make it two octaves. One, two, three. Take your thumb, spin it. Over. Let's do that again. Thumb under. A flat. A flat. Cross your three to the C. Left hand, your turn. From major to minor. The keys you want are F, A flat, C, and back down. Let's try doing it for one octave. Five, three. position. Take off your F and put it on top. It might be easier to start with a 3 on the A flat, thumb on the C, 2 on the F, and back down. Extend it now for one octave. 3, 1 on C, 2, up. I like to think of my third finger making an arc over. 3, 1, 2, oh my goodness. 3, 1, 2, 3, and back down. Let's try that again. Three, one, two, three, and back down. Let's see if we can extend that for two octaves. Three, one, two, three. Take your thumb, put it onto the C. And over. One more time. Thumb under. Over. Left hand, your turn. So here we have F major. F minor. Now we're going to make that F minor root position. Three on the A flat, two on the C, thumb on F and back down. Let's see if we can extend that to one octave. Three, two, one, cross up and go back down. Let's try that again. Extend it now for two octaves. position 2. So now we have F minor root, first, second inversion. So the keys you want will be C with a thumb, 2 on F, 3 on A flat, and back down. Let's start with middle C. Middle C, F, A, 5 on the C, and back down. Let's do it for two octaves. C, F, A flat, thumb on the C, and back down, three over, one more time, C, F, A flat, thumb on the C, three over, left hand, your turn, same letters, so five on a C, three on F, A flat, and back down. Let's make it 
two octaves. Cross your three onto the F, A flat, C, thumb under. Let's do that again. Over with the three, thumb onto the C. Now we come to the A flat, and that's it. Let's take a look now at the F dominant seventh. So from F, find your dominant, which again is your fifth. Now, we have to make a chord. Oh look, it's C major. So you're very familiar with C major. Now we have to add the minor third on top of this G. Now, F major has a B flat, so we use the B flat in here. The keys you want are C, E, G, B flat. Four, three, two, one. Let's start that on middle C so we're not flying off the keyboard. One, two, three, four, three, two, one. Extend it for one octave by adding a fifth finger on this C. Again. Now make it two octaves by going one, two, three, four, thumb on the C. And back down. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Begin on an E. I'm going to start one octave lower. Now minor third intervals the whole way through. And those are the keys we'll need for F diminished seventh. E, G, B flat, D flat. One, two, three, four, and back down. for one octave, add your fifth finger. Again. Make it two octaves. One, two, three, four. Take your thumb under. E, G, B flat, D flat, E, and down. Four over. One more time. Thumb under. Four over. Ten, your turn. So again, begin on the seventh key of F, which is E minor third, minor third, minor third. So five, four, three, two, and back down. Now we're going to add our thumb onto the E on top to make it an octave. Let's make it now two octaves. So five, four, three, two, thumb on the E, four on G. arpeggios for the scale key of F. I hope you enjoyed learning them and I'll see you again in our fifth lesson where we take a look at the arpeggios for G. Bye!